Hello guys, welcome back. Do you know how to take your flyer from something like this to that? Well, if you're interested, stay tuned. I'm glad you're still here. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Trish. Please take a minute, like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. So I'm excited to show you how you can make your flyer a little bit more interesting and very interactive. So to begin, you need to, first of all, have created your flyer. I normally have my flyer design as a 10 by 10, but because I wanted to embed it into a phone, I went ahead to edit my flyer to have it in a landscape format. I'm not going to go into how to make this flyer unless you want me to do this flyer. If you do want me to do a tutorial on this particular flyer, please indicate that in the comments below and I will be glad to do a tutorial on this particular flyer. So the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to pull in the images that we are going to work with. So as I have said in my previous tutorials, I'm going to make these images available so you can download and use and follow along. So the first thing we want to bring in is this image. I'm going to drag it into our working file. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in and we want to cut out the phone with the hand. So with the technique of the quick select tool, we are going to click select subject and Photoshop is going to generate an outline around the phone and the hand, as you can see, but the selection is not good. So we have to do a little bit of a cleanup. So I'm going to zoom out so we can see the full thing. So to, to clean up our selection, I'm going to pick up my lasso tool and I'm going to click on add to selection and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to just trace around the area that I want to add. I'm going to change my lasso tool. So I'm going to click on add to selection and I'm going to trace around the area that I want to add. And I'm just going to close it off. So we see that this piece is done for us. We want to do the same thing around the hand. So first of all, we want to cut out a little bit of this area. It's not so clear what is there, but we know that there is a little space in between the finger and the exterior of the phone. So I'm going to continue to trim around the phone just a little bit more. I'm going to close that off. Okay, so now we're going to work around the finger. So I'm going to this time add to selection. So you see that I've clicked on the icon that says add to selection. And I'm just going to trace around so I can add. And I'm just going to close this loop and I'm going to click on the subtract so I can cut off that little piece. And then I'm going to zoom out and we are going to include this area as well. So add to selection and I'm just going to trace And I'm just going to close that off. So now that we have this, the other thing that we see that we don't need is a selection right here. So I'm going to use my subtract to selection and I'm just going to just create a line around that and take it off. So now we have the selection of our phone and the hand that we want. So I'm going to click 
So I'm going to go to my layers panel and underneath we see all the icons. So I'm going to click on the layer max icon so that it cuts the phone out for me. And I'm going to zoom in. So you see that there are still a few things that we need to clean up like this area. So since I want to add, you want to make sure your foreground is white. And with my lasso tool, I'm going to still add this area. And I'm going to use my brush to paint with my foreground as white. I'm going to paint this back in. And I'm going to press Control D to deselect. So we have that area. And I'm going to add this area as well. So I'm going to just So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to click on my move tool and we want to zoom out and we are going to rotate a shift and I'm going to rotate the phone. I'm going to double click to deselect zoom out and then I'm going to scale it. I'm just going to move it in just a little bit more and the same thing here. So now the phone is centered and I want to move it up a little bit more so we can focus on our flyer, which is in between the hand. I'm going to zoom out and increase it just a little bit. So the focus is on the phone. I'm going to double click to deselect. So now that we have the phone set for us. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a background. So I'm going to go to my working file and I'm going to drag this into a working file. I'm going to release and I'm going to move this to the layer beneath. And I'm going to rescale this. I'm going to double click to deselect. So what we want to do next is to change the background. So to do that, I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to image adjustment and I'm going to choose hue because I want to change the background to an entirely different color. So I'm going to just play around with this. I'm going to take it more towards the green. So as you can see, I'm just playing around with the lightness as well as my saturation and my hue to get to the color that I really want to use. So I'm going to click OK. So now that we have our color, the other thing we want to do is to add a gradient effect. So we're going to use the radar gradient effect so that we get a light in the middle and then our gradient sort of darkens as we go around the edges. So I'm going to click on the layer that I want to apply it to. If I put my gradient on top, it's going to be applied to everything. But I just want it on the background image. So I'm going to click on the background image. I'm going to go to my adjustment layers and I'm going to choose gradient. And then I'm going to double click and then change my gradient color. I want a black. I'm going to click OK and I want to take this as well to a black. So both are black, but if you've noticed, my gradient is from an opacity to a transparent and that is what you want. So you have to take note of that. If you don't have that, all you need to do is do the drop down and choose the correct one. I'm going to click OK. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to double click on this. So here, what we want to do, our style, we're going to take it to radar and we want to reverse it. So once we have it, we want to increase our scale so it opens it up a little bit more for us. So I'm going to click OK. I like what I have so far. I'm going to go back to my hue images adjustment. And I'm going to just play around with my hue just a little bit more 
so I can get the richness that I am looking for. You can choose whatever color you want for your background. It's all preference. So I'm going to click OK. The outline of the phone is white and my flyer is on a grayish side. So if I embed my flyer on this, it will almost sort of wash it out. So I'm going to bring in another phone, which is all black, and I'm going to overlay that on top of this. So I'm going to press my shift and then rotate it just like that. And then I'm going to rescale this one since it's the same type of phone. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to double click. And then what I'm going to do, and it looks like it's in the right place. I'm going to zoom in. There's something small that I want to clean up from the new phone that we brought in. So I'm going to just take that off. Making sure I'm on the right layer with my eraser tool. I'm going to clean that off. Control D to deselect. All right. So now that we have our background set, we're going to go to our working file. I'm going to drag in our file and I'm going to release. And then I'm just going to scale this down a little bit more. And we're going to set that right inside our phone. And we're going to move it down just a little. I'm going to double click to deselect. So as you can see, I didn't have to do so much. Green interface of the phone doesn't have any trim around it. So I can just place my image right on top of it. And it looks as though the phone has been embedded on the screen of my phone. So the last thing that I want to show you that I do is that when let's say you, you want to show a countdown to an event that is about to take place. So you can say it's like three days away or four days away. So you also want to add a text and we're going to scale this so small, you can't even see it. I'm going to move it up here and I'm going to change, first of all, the color. I'm going to change the color to so, sort of a honey mustard, something a little bit bright. I'm going to highlight and then we're going to change the font style. And as you can see, I'm just flipping through to the one that I want. And this one I'm using as say demo and you can use whatever font you want. That is all preference. So I'm going to rescale this. So it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to rescale it a little bit more. And I'm going to add it's going to say four more. So I'm going to select my text and I'm going to go to properties and then under properties, I can decrease the spacing between my text. And then I'm going to collapse that. I'm going to I'm going to rescale and take it down just a little more. And I'm going to move this here, say four more days. So for the days, instead of retyping, I'm going to click on this and make a duplicate. And I'm going to move that down here for now. And we are going to change it to days. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to move this somewhere here. You can make it a little bit more playful. It doesn't have to be in line. So as you can see, it says four more days. So I can just keep it like this, or you can just move it up. So it all lines up. There are some that want things to line up like me. So you can do that or you can make it a little bit more playful. So I want to take this down just a little. I'm going to select both and then I'm going to move it. So there you have it. It's very simple. It's not that hard at all. Of course, there are a few cutouts and 
a few tweaks that you have to do if you want to embed your flyer into an image. But I wanted to give you the basics so that you can go to town with your design, okay? So the last thing I want to show you is something that I think is very good, is a good practice to always do as a designer is to add a camera raw effect. Now the camera raw effect allows you to add a little bit more punch to your design in terms of pulling up the colors, muting what, some colors that you want to be muted, adding a little bit of some um, depth and also showing more of some level of contrast in your flyer. So to do that, we are first of all going to group all our layers, click on the top layer, go scroll all the way down to the last layer on your layers panel, holding down your shift, click on the last one, you select everything, and then this icon, which is the folder, is what you click on to group everything. So once you have everything grouped, make sure your group layer is selected, and then you press shift Control alt e Photoshop will generate a final image for you. Now, this final image does not have layers on it. It's just one single file. So if I turn off the group layer, you see that you only have one file in here. If I move it, you see that it moves the entire thing. So control Z to bring it back. <laughs> All right. So if you want to bring out the richness in your final image, you make sure your layer is selected, go to filter, and then you choose camera raw filter. And then in camera raw, you can now add a little bit more richness. And as you can see, there are so many different options that you can play with, but I'm just gonna show you the basics. So I'm gonna bring in, pull in a little bit more of the richness. So as you can see, the richness and the colors are beginning to show a little bit more. If you want some clarity, if your image is blur, you can have some clarity. I want some level of contrast. So as you can see, it's pulling in more, you can see more of the dark, um, dark areas getting more, you know, intense and the level of exposure, I think this is great. I'm not going to take it anything higher, but you can play with the saturation to get some more richness in your final image. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to show you the before and after so you can see the difference. So this is the before. You see it's more muted. And this is the after. You see that the after really pops and it sort of pulls out all the colors, the brightness, the vibrance. You see it more. This brings us to the end of another exciting tutorial. This wasn't a flyer, but I wanted to show you how you can embed a flyer into a picture to make it more interactive. So if you found this tutorial very interesting, please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. And in case you want to know or you want the template to the flyer in this tutorial, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to share it. If you want me to do a tutorial from beginning to end for this flyer as well, I'll be willing to do that for you. As you know, I'm your virtual coach to Photoshop tutorials. So Anything you want, I'm here for you and I'm here to assist you. You can also contact me on Instagram or on Facebook. There are links in the description below that will take you straight to those places so we can have a conversation. So until next time, be safe and please wear your face mask. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.